Hi. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to install the Optimize Website Accelerator and optimize your website. The Website Accelerator is packaged up as an MSI installer and is available to download from optimize.com. It's supported across all Windows server platforms and runs on 32 and 64 bit. You'll need to download the software onto your server and run the installer. Once installed, you'll be able to open up the Optimize configuration tool. On the left panel, you'll see a list of all the websites which are currently hosted and configured on IIS. To install the website accelerator on your website, you'll need to select the correct website and hit install. When you first install, the website accelerator is left in an off state. To turn on acceleration and start optimizing your website, you'll need to select on on the status radio button. The orange tick should indicate that the website accelerator is working correctly. So you can now go ahead and click on the globe icon. This will bring up your default web browser and open up your web page. On the top left corner of every optimized page, you should be able to see the optimized watermark logo. If you click on the watermark, you'll see a bit more detail on how your web page has been optimized. you'll be able to hide this logo with a valid license. When we first install the website accelerator on your website, we leave it on safe mode. In safe mode, we start to turn on optimization features without pushing them to the max. And even at this level, visitors to your website should already start seeing significant improvements in page load time. If you click on the configure button, you'll be able to select further configuration options. The first screen you'll see is the acceleration profile tab. Here you'll need to select an acceleration profile that closely matches your website or web application. Depending on which profile you choose, the website accelerator will run on a default profile which optimization configuration will ensure that your website will accelerate optimally. The second tab you'll see is the Health Check tab. Here, the website accelerator will log any warnings or errors which may prevent your website from accelerating optimally. Anything logged here will have enough detail to help you and help us troubleshoot any issues. The next tab is the Excluded URLs tab. Here, you'll be able to add URLs which will be excluded from website accelerator optimization you'll need to add a part of a URL which the website seller will match and exclude from optimization. Using the excluded URLs tool, you'll be able to ensure that all your web pages work correctly by excluding any sources which appear to break when being optimized. The last tab is the run modes tab. Here, you'll be able to switch to production mode and with a valid license, hide the watermark which appears on every optimized page. If you'd like to further increase the acceleration on your website, you'll need to switch to expert mode. In expert mode, you'll have full control over all optimization features. You'll be able to switch them on and off and also set them at an optimal level you'll need to click the configure button to get into the advanced configuration console. In expert mode, you're given advanced controls. Optimization has been organized in style sheets, JavaScript, and images. In these three tabs, you'll be able to turn on optimization features or set them to a certain level to which your website can handle. Rather than the excluded URLs tab, in expert mode, you now have custom rules. 
using custom rules, you'll be able to turn down the optimization level for any web page, directory, or resource, rather than excluding it from being optimized completely. You'll be able to turn on and off optimization features in the advanced rules editor. The optimization settings that you've set here will override the global settings that you have set in the style sheets, JavaScript and images tab and will only be applied to the match path that you have set. The creation of custom rules will most often resolve any issues that you run into with the website accelerator. Any configuration changes that you make in the configuration tool, you'll be able to see its effect in the inbuilt web browser and of course any web browser of your choice. The page statistics tab will run a quick report comparing the original page versus optimized page. Here you'll be able to compare the page load time, page load size and the percentage reduction. A waterfall will also be rendered giving a bit more detail on how the page was loaded. The legend tab will give you a bit more information on how to interpret that waterfall. The connection simulator will allow you to select different speeds and distances from the server, which will allow you to simulate the page load times on these connections. And that concludes the demonstration of the website Accelerator.